In the latest, a signed letter from 37 MLAs to the governor dispatched uh, uh, recently pro proclaimed Eknath Shinde as their leader. Now, these MLAs show a continued support for Shinde as per the pre-poll alliance in 2019. Earlier, Maharashtra Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre also fought back with disqualification applications for at least a dozen rebels, which may help tweak the numbers in the assembly in favor in his favor in case of a trust vote but now this letter uh, with signatures of 37 MLA supporting Eknath Shinde as their leader. Let's go across to my colleague Sohit for more on this. Sohit, tell us about the signatories of this letter and how is this significant? Well, uh, firstly what we need to talk about is the timing when this letter is being released. Uh, I spoke to Arvind Savant who is a Shishana MP who was in Vidhan Bhavan this evening where he met the Deputy Speaker Narhari Zidwar and uh, they have given uh, uh, a plea appealing that the uh, 12 MLAs uh, should be disqualified. And in those 12 MLAs, Eknath Shinde as well as Bharat Gogaule, their name are included as well. Later what we see is that there is uh, this letter that comes with the signature of 37 Shiv Sena MLAs. Now why is this important? Because a similar letter came on 21st of uh, June. But in that letter, there are only 30 or Shusana MLAs who were present. Now, with 37 MLAs' support, Ekna Shinde has the support of two-thirds of Shusana MLAs. And now, what the Ekna Shinde camp is trying to portray is that they will be the one who will be calling the shots. And they have decided, discussed and decided that Ekna Shinde will be the Shusana Legislator Party's leader and Bharat Gogavle will be the chief whip which means that the whip that was uh, brought by uh, Sunil Prabhu, who is the chief whip as of now of Uddhav Thakre Shusena, uh, his whip won't be valid is what they are trying to claim. Now remember that as I said, there are 12, uh, there is a plea which uh, appeals that 12 of these MLAs should be dismissed and their primary uh, uh, MLA membership should be uh, uh, called back. What we can say that this letter is uh, what Ekla Shinde is trying to say, uh, send and say that no, we'll be the one calling the shots. We have 37 MLAs with us, which means we have two thirds of uh, Shilsen MLAs who are supporting Ekna Shinde. And now Ekna Shinde will decide who uh, will do what. And uh, Bharat Kogali, being the chief, chief whip, he will decide if the meeting or he can he wants to uh, call a whip or not. So what we can say, the thing that we began with uh, Surat and later Guwahati will now also take a legal process because whatever whoever the deputy speaker goes against, they might go to the court and then this will become legal as well. And that will take some time, which means that uh, this political story of Maharashtra and the drama doesn't seem to be ending as early as uh, now and it will go for some more days at least. Right, so it's also definitely a show of strength, as you said. But the letter also says that he was appointed as the leader of Shiv Sena in 2019 before the poll alliance of the Mahavikasa Gadi, as we know now. And now they're going back to that decision. So is this a start of these rebel MLAs going back to decisions made before this very contentious alliance that they call unnatural? Uh, well, what happened is, Ikla Shinder was always the chief leader and uh, he was the leader of the Shiv Sena Legislature Party. But when Eknath Shinde uh, tried to break Shiv Sena, the day he went to Surat to save his party, Uddhav Thakre announced that Eknath Shinde is no more uh, the leader of the Shiv Sena Legislature Party. And that's the reason, if you read, it has written that on 21st of June 2022, 34 of us have, ha had passed a similar resolution. And now since uh, there have been additional members and we have added their signature as well. We once again want to say that Ekna Shinde has been appointed as the Shiv Sena Legislative Party leader and uh, Bharat Gogavle has been appointed as Chief Whip. That's right. the reason they are uh, saying it again because Uddhav Thakre has claimed that uh, Ekna Shinde is no more the uh, Shiv Sena Le Legislature Party leader. Now, why is Shiv Sena Legislature Party leader important? Because say, so tomorrow if there is a voting that happens, so if, uh, if Ekla Shinde, for example, is the leader of the Shiv Sena Legislature Party, he will decide who wants to vote or where does he vote, where do the MLAs vote. And whoever, whoever tries to cross vote, 
their membership could go under anti defection law so that's the reason ekla shinde uh, wants that the leader of the shiv sena legislature party should be with him as well as the uh, chief whip should also be com- coming from his own camp and that's the reason this letter has been released again and this time there are 37 mlas which does not include independent mlas all of them are shiv sena party's mlas and this is a very big step ekra shinde as of now seems to be getting close to the magic figure that is required he has the two third of the mlas that is required but right. at the same time uttar thakre has reached to vidhan bhavan he his leader arvin savan met with uh, the deputy speaker and they have appealed that 12 mla should be disqualified so now this has taken a legal turn and that's the reason all of these documents are being presented so that if this goes into the court they could present their case as well